guys, today I'm doing a haul video. This is about lipsticks for women of color. Because I've been asked so many times when I work in MAC, at Sephora, about what colors look best on deeper complexions. Some of them are a little bit lighter than me and a little bit darker than me. So many um, black women, especially, I would ask, you know, is there any color, like new colors I can wear? Are there any bright colors that won't look too ridiculous on me? I know some of people got so mad at uh, ASAP Rocky because they, he said um, black women should wear red lipsticks, which is totally false and so untrue. Um, one thing I want to say, women of color, not just black women, but you know, Hispanic women, if you're Indian, brown, if you have some kind of tan to your skin, color looks best on tan skin. I'm just going to say it like that. Color looks the best on tans. That's why people get tans. So stuff will complement their skin. This is why pale women want to get a deeper complexion. Because they don't want to look washed out if they want to wear like a blush or a bright red lipstick or a bright pink lipstick. Sorry, I'm going to wear some on my something like that. We have color looks best on tanner skin. There's, there's nothing to argue with. This has been proven so many times on these pictures. Every time I was at MAC or Sephora, um, I had, you know, white women ask me, oh my god, how can you wear that um, bright red color or every color? I wish I could wear that. That's why they get tans. So they can wear these bright color lipsticks. This women of color are afraid to wear, which like blows my mind that we're so scared to wear these colors and they look great on us. I mean, stop my rant and get into it. Um, the first lipstick I'm wearing is actually Nicki Minaj Viva Glam. This is the first one she came out with. I know you ladies are looking at oh, that. It's bright. But I actually tone it out as you can see. I actually toned it down compared to what it actually is. Cause I'm wearing a brown lip liner. That is the trick for um, women of color. If you're scared of wearing these bright color lipsticks, I say use a brown lip liner. Cause it would tone that color down if you're kind of nervous of jumping into these bright colors. I know it's about to be fall, but if you're too scared of wearing these bright colors, I was just getting her wrong lip line and it was all Next lipstick I have is Max and Passion. This was more of a deeper pink. And I think this just looks gorgeous on a woman of color. This is like my, probably my favorite. Pink lipstick compared to Kenny and Amber, which I do have in which now this mix lipstick. I have so many women ask me, what's a good nude lipstick? Because you don't want your lips to look ashy. That's the number one thing I hear from women of color. They want a nude lipstick, but every new lipstick they find makes them look their lips look ashy. This I got this I said about a couple of weeks ago when I went to Mac to um Traded in my old products to get the free lips they had, and I saw a fresh room. And I fell in love. When I mean I fell in love, I fell in love with this lipstick. Because it was not too white, not too pink, it was just right. It was just the perfect. I don't want other new lipstick. I don't care if this is $15. I'm gonna still keep getting this $15 because this is the perfect new color I've used. Um, I can't remember what the name is from NYX. I think it was Toffee or Coffee. Don't remember. I used that for a while. That you know, I used it that for a while with the brown lip liner, and it was okay. But I love this. I don't wear a lip liner with this. I just wear it by myself, and it looks good. And don't make my face look too pale or nothing. And that's lipstick. 
I told you this would be in the video. Came in, yum, yum. I can't tell you. I actually have a video. I have a makeup tutorial while I'm wearing lips lipstick. I'll probably put it somewhere. And there's a lot of videos about candy yum, yum. I'm not going to talk too long about candy yum, yum. This lipstick, I was saying, I don't know if it really matter, I might not know these colors. If you're like an NC45 and up, NC45 and up, or NW45 and up, I would say more NW50. If you're like probably NW50, this will look gorgeous on you. Like, it looks, I like it on me. But I think for like even dark, darker girls, darker than me, they can pull this off. This color is just gorgeous. And see how bright that is compared to Impression and who is this? I forgot what the name was. Nikki's uh, Viva Glam. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. The next lipstick I got is kind of messy because I've used it so much. This is Up the Amp by Matt. This is a purple lipstick. I love this color. This is like my favorite purple lipstick. It has a little bit of pink in it. It's mainly, it's mainly purple. I think this is, I'll say light. If you have really, like a really boy, that was a little purple lipstick came up. I think it's almost similar to Really Boy, but I think this has more pink in it, but it's almost there, but I think this is purple. I've, I've seen women of about purple, and I don't know what it is about purple, but purple just pops on us. I don't know why, but I love purple. I love my color. It just looks great. Next I have, this is Russian Red. This is probably one of my favorite, most favorite reds. I tried the, uh, I tried Ruby Woo when I got Ruby Woo. And for some reason, uh, when I got Ruby Woo, I did not like it on it. I mean, it was pretty, but it didn't do nothing for me. You know, people are always go my Ruby Woo, blah, 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 blah. I like Red. I think Russia Red looks great. I've tried both Ruby Woo and Russian Red. And to me, as far as on me, I think Russian Red looks better on me than Ruby Woo. Ruby looks pretty, but Russian Red looks even better. That's just my next color. I know you guys are tired of looking at these matte colors. Trust me, you don't have to get these matte lipsticks. You can go to Revlon, you can go to Maybelline, um, NYX. You don't have to stick with these colors. You can always find dupes of these colors. Trust me, I know Nick has so many MAC dupes, it's ridiculous. But this is the last MAC list I'm going to show you. This is Vegas Plus. This is like a coral orange. A coral orange? It's not too extreme. But I love it. This is like my favorite color for springtime. Well, springtime is like my favorite orange. There's another orange I have that's actually even brighter than this that I like. But I don't like the brighter bag as well. But this is a brighter one I was telling you about. This is from Motives. This is a little bit deeper than the Vegas ball. I like it. if you're looking for a bright orange, I would definitely suggest this one. But if you're looking for a little bit lighter, I don't like the bright orange too much. That's just my preference. 
I just pick it up because I like regular at the time. But now I see I don't like bright orange that much. I like the lighter orange of it as well. If you're looking for a bright orange, I'll definitely get this one. I know, um, I don't know how much this one. I know CoverGirl. I can't remember what the name is, but they had a pretty um, CoverGirl Queen. Make sure it's CoverGirl Queen, not the regular CoverGirl. CoverGirl Queen. I think regular CoverGirl might have a pretty purple, I don't know, but. The CoverGirl Queen I've used. I know I said um, this video is going to be lipsticks, but I did throw in uh, two lip balms that I like. This one is from Revlon. This is Lilac Pastella. It's very light pink. Um, fire around the same color as Mickey's Viva Glam 2. I think it's about the same color. If you're looking for a dupe, you don't want to hit that one. I don't think it's too light. It's just a pretty light purple. So if you're looking for something new that you don't want, like a brownish new or a pinkish new, I'll definitely suggest this one. Especially if you're looking for a dupe. For the Nikki Blue Glam Alright, my next lipstick is from Maybelline. This is Maybelline, right? This is Maybelline. This is all my other vivids. This one is in Brazen Berry 905. This is like a purple pink, I would say. This is just gorgeous. This is a, I would say, a little bit darker than the up the end. This is just so, I, I can't even explain how pretty it is. This is just so, 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 so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking at it because I'm gonna keep going on and on. But it's a pretty grab. Another Maybelline lipstick. And this one is in Midnight Love. This is actually a limited edition lipstick, I'm sorry. But I had to throw it in because I really liked it. I thought it was just a great lipstick. So I'm sure you find... I'm sure Maybelline has something in there. Really, something is similar to this. Maybe it's not the exact same color. I'm pretty sure it's um, similar. And this definitely reminds me of Cyber from Mac. If you don't want to buy $15 lipstick, and, and if they still have this in the store, I believe they should still have this in the store. I believe they still, I would say check the Walgreens and Walmart. I think they, I think they only had it in Walgreens. I think that's one of the ones that I saw them at one Walgreens. But this, I've been looking for a uh, dark lipstick, and I tried Cyber for some reason. I've got it like twice. For some reason, I never really liked it, and, it's, and that's the, actually the color I, I want. But for some reason, I did not like Cyber on me, but when I got this, I you know it was only, I think it was like six bucks. So let me try it out. And it's great, a uh, great plum color. If you're looking for that deep plum and you don't want to buy cyber, or I know Mimi just came uh, in her collection, she had a dark purple in her collection. If you don't want to go out and get this, go and get out and get that. And get this. I'm, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure maybe Maybelline still has a dark lipstick in their favorite collection. I'm not sure what the name is, but I'm sure they do. But if they still have it, you grab this one. This is like my favorite. That's one of this. Um, this lip gloss is actually in the same collection. This one is the color sensational high shine lip gloss, and this is in the color royal two ninety five. Yeah. 
And I love this lipstick with a gloss. It's like almost like a bluish purple in Sydney Hall World. Like Royal Book. The only, um, I would say, the only bad thing I want to say about this lip gloss is that I wish it was like a little bit more thicker, like almost like a, um, I was like, like a stain, but still shiny. I wish I had a little bit, a little more coverage. There we go. Did it do the damn work? I wish I had a little bit more coverage. I wish it was more like a stain, kind of like, um, I can think of the damn name right now. If this was like a, um, had more coverage, like a full coverage, like more like a lip stain, this would be perfect. This would be 10 plus plus plus. It's still like a 9, only because it doesn't have that full coverage, like the full color that I want. It, it almost does, but it doesn't. But the end of the day, I would rock with this color. I would rock with this so that is all the lip products, you know, all the lipsticks, all the gloss that um, I recommend for women color. You don't have to stick with this collection. There's other colors you've seen that you want to try. Boo boo, try them. Try them. These are just uh, my suggestions, you know, as far as the pinks and the purples and the nudes. These are just questions I've always been asked for women color. Because I guess the two or four, they don't know what they're gonna wear. I think the number one issue I had while working at Sephora and Mac is because there weren't a lot of, I don't know why, but not a lot of black girls that work in Mac or Sephora. Not the, not the commons, commons and stores I was working in. And black women are always so scared to ask, you know, Hispanic girls, Hispanic girls who may be a little bit light, or the, or the white girls, they feel like, Oh, she'll know what she's talking about. I don't know, she's gonna be the wrong shape. Cause it does happen for some reason. I don't know why, but some, some women, they'll, um, some white women, they'll put on a shade that's too orange for um, a woman or too red just because, oh, it's a dark color. So I don't know, I understand their concerns while they always come up to the black. To the black girl, cause you know, um, she gonna she gonna she gonna do me right. She gonna get the right color. But not knowing these women are trained, they're trained like a artist, trained beauty specialist. They know what's gonna look right on any complexion. But you know, I understand the concerns they had, cause I've had you know before I've even gone into makeup, women would match me up and it either be too red or too orange. Which I understand, you know. They just don't, they just don't know. Some women, you know, no matter how trained they are, they'll still end up getting Sorry. Still, that doesn't match it. So, you know, I just wanted to do this video for, you know, women of color so they can know. You can wear bright colors. It's too bright. Turn it down with a brown. Turn it down with a brown lip liner. If you want. Grab a new lipstick, make sure it has some kind of a brown tint. That's what I've got to say. If you get a new lipstick, make sure it has some kind of brown tint. Not a pink tint, because I've noticed any new lipstick with a pink tint makes the lips too ashy. That's what I've got to say. It makes the lips too Get a new lipstick, you know, like fresh, like fresh with it, because it has a little more of a brown tint to it. It should have a brown tint to it, so it looks looks like ashy. Well, I'm doing my rant. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video. Hope it was educational. Um, it cleared up any kind of concerns you may have. Answer some questions for you. And if you guys want me to do more haul videos like this, just let me know. Leave some comments in the bottom. And uh, you know, I'll start doing more hauls. I've been wanting to do it, but you know, I'm so busy with, you know, 
I'm not gonna show, show you. Put my, put my little man in the world. He's over there. Gone to the world. I'm so busy with my little man. You know, it's hard for me to do videos unless my, unless my husband is here. They know I'm doing videos back to back to back. But, um, um you know, let me know if you want me to do more. Um, as always, like, like subscribe, share to your friends, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.